Uh, well, it all started, we went out to dinner and we just got to prom and we were all having a great time. And once prom ended, we wanted to have even more fun. So we decided to go to an after party in Riverbank. At the after party, there was a lot of alcohol, just a lot of alcohol. Decided to drink the alcohol since it's our senior year. We just thought it would be fun, but it just turned out to a misery. The last thing I remember is leaving the after party and then right after that I just remember seeing my Emily just laying laying out the car and Vanessa and Eddie just horribly injured. Emily. Emily. Oh my God. Yeah. Are you guys okay? Huh? Are you okay? Oh my God. We didn't even drink that much. Oh my. Why were you driving like that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Emily. Emily. Are you okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, Eddie. Please. Oh my God. What's going on? Oh my God. Hey guys, I hit him. I hit him. Okay, over here. Are they okay? No, over here. Are they okay? Are they okay? Are they over here. Sit down. Sit down. What's going on? Head on collision. Driver's right here. White truck. I got two pinned in here. Okay. Are they okay? went to an after party. You went to an after party? We just had a couple of beers, that's it. Okay. How old are you? I'm 17. I'm 17, okay. You had a couple of beers? Yes. Okay. So, who's in the car with you? That's my prom date, Emily. And Your prom date, Emily? And Vanessa and Eddie. They're just so you're just driving down the road and this happened? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Tristan Rogers. Tristan Rogers? No? You get anything injured? No injuries on you? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna have, we're gonna step over here. We're gonna be on some flat ground. I'm gonna ask you to do some field sobriety tests for me, okay? Part of the deal with the field sobriety test is the ability to follow instructions, okay? Yes, sir. So I'm gonna explain everything to you, and if you have any problems or any questions, I want you to be able to ask me at that time. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay, the first test we're gonna do is called a horizontal gaze nystagmus, okay? I'm gonna have you follow the tip of my pin right here with just your eyes, okay? So right here, I'm not gonna touch you, okay? Don't move your head. Okay. Okay, now here we go again, okay? We'll do that one more time. Now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Stop. Okay. Next we're gonna do, looks like there's a line right here, okay? So step back just a little bit. I'm gonna explain this test to you, okay? First thing I want you to do is put your left foot in front of your right foot, just like this, hands to your sides. Okay, got it? Now stand on that line right there, that, that line you can see. Stand right there and don't move from that position, okay? Okay, I'm gonna explain the test to you. Okay, what I want you to do, with your feet like that, I want you to take nine steps forward and nine steps back. They're gonna be heel to toe, just like this, okay? So you're gonna go one, two, three, 
four, and so on to the to nine. When on nine steps, you're gonna be on your end foot. Leaving your end foot in place, what I want you to do is take a series of small steps just like this, turn around, and walk nine steps back, heel to toe. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. How do you think you did, Tristan? Not well. Not very good, okay? You made an improper turn. You're kind of all over the place, okay? Your finger count test is pretty shaky. I'm kind of concerned that you're under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. You might be impaired, okay? At this point, I'd like you to know if you'd be willing to give me a breath test. Would that be okay? Yes, sir. Okay, Tristan, pay attention over here, okay? This is a brand new mouth, it's never been used by anybody. It's in a plastic container, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you take a deep breath and I'm gonna have you blow out for a series of 10 seconds, okay? It's gonna be just like blowing up a balloon, okay? I don't want anything in your mouth. I don't want anything in your throat. And what I'm looking for is the air deep down in your lungs. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right, good. Ready? And blow. Blow, blow, blow. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. There you go, good job. All right, Tristan, uh, dude, it looks like you're a .09, okay? That's over the legal limit in the state of California, okay? So right now I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around, put your hands behind your back, okay? Just like this. Put your palms together just like you're praying, Tristan. There you go. Okay. Tristan, look what you've done there, man. There's okay. people being carried off in a gurney. You made some poor decisions tonight, man. You made some poor decisions tonight. Corner, you got one gone, huh? Looks like someone's passed away, man. I didn't mean for it to happen. I know, man. I know. Have a seat right there. Let's get ready, cross them up, package them. When we get inside, we'll start another IV on them. Here you go. Yep. Yeah. We didn't even drink that much. You didn't drink that much? No. Look, man, you're under arrest for drunk driving, okay? And it looks like right now vehicle or homicide, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You have the present before any questioning if you wish, okay? Do you want to talk to me? Yes. Okay. How many drinks did you have? I thought two or three. Two or three. Two or three drinks. Well, I'll tell you, from my experience, man, it's probably more like eight or nine, okay? 
your decision tonight cost somebody their lives and two people left in an ambulance. Okay? Come on, let's go. It's gonna change your life, man. It's gonna change your life. Set her up and roll her back. Okay. And let's let her kind of fall towards that way. Okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it right there on the edge of the thing. I don't want her to roll off. Okay. Feet, this board? Yep. I saw them laying there, I just panicked. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I was okay to, to drive. I thought everything would just be fine. I thought we would all just wake up having another great memory. Yeah, it felt like a it felt like a bad dream. It just felt like if I just didn't decide to drive or if I didn't decide to go to that after party and everything would be okay, I wouldn't be where I am and they wouldn't be where they were.
My name's Officer Parsons with the California Highway Patrol. Are you Mr. Blevins? Yes, I am. Do you have a daughter, Emily Blevins, that goes to Riverbank High School? Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, we had a, a very terrible traffic accident at the high school, in front of the high school today, um, involving DUI. Um, apparently, the, the, the boy that Emily was with had been drinking, and they were coming from a prom after party, and um, there was a collision, and uh, we believe that Emily was killed instantly there on the scene. Um, she passed away. The reason that we've asked you to come down here is we're pretty sure it's Emily because her friends identified her there at the scene. Uh, we just need you to make a positive identification. Can you do that this morning? Yeah, I can. Hello, Michael. Yes. I'm Deputy Rodriguez from the coroner's office. Hi. Mr. Blevins, we have a female here that was involved in an accident. Um, I'm going to need you to positively identify her. Um, we believe we know who she is. However, I'm going to need you to look at her and see if it is your daughter. So she's right here. When you're ready, just uh, let me know, and I'll be here to answer uh, any questions. OK? I'm ready. OK, so is this your daughter, sir? Yes. Uh, could you provide me with her full name and uh, date of birth, please? Emily Nicole Blevins, May 31st, 1996. Okay, and when was the last time that you saw your daughter? Last night, before the prom. Um, she is positively identified. Um, there's some things that I'll provide for you as far as what you need to know to do at this point, and uh, we can go from there. I'm sorry for your loss. No. I regret every bit of what happened last night. It's just not not what I thought. I've hurt my family and I've hurt their families and many other people that were, they were important to. This is Vanessa, 18 years old. She restrained driver in a head-on collision uh, from the same incident as earlier. In and out of consciousness, uh, massive head trauma to the front. We had a weak pulse when we got here. I don't think we're working with anything now. She looks a little pale. Oh, she's getting over. Ready? One, two, three. Come on. That's really all we have. High speed. Chris, can I be the We have. We have bilateral 18s on her. We were keeping the pressure, we were unable to get one at the door. This will definitely change the rest of my life. Being here is it's just horrible. And in the back of my mind, knowing that Emily's dead and I don't even know what happened to, I don't know what happened to Vanessa and Eddie, it's just, it's just horrible.
hands right there. Don't move them. Okay, left hand on your head. Right hand on your head. Spread your legs, please. Everything you got right here in this bag. Your mom's first name again, Chris? Chris. Hi, Chris. This is Deputy Brown of the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office. We've got your son here, and uh, he's been involved in an incident. Uh, it's ended up in his arrest. I've got him down at the county jail, and I told him I'd let him make a phone call before we go in. I made a bad decision. I, I drank and drive, and there are possibly some people that are dead. Yeah. It's Emily and Vanessa. That was the wrong, I did a wrong decision. All right, dude, hurry up. We don't have time for this, okay? Tell her you're okay, where you're at, and you're all right. I have to go, I have to go. All right, all right, love you, bye. All right, man, come on. I just want to say I'm sorry to everyone that I've hurt. I know our decisions were bad. I just hope no one ever makes the decisions that we made, and I'm, I apologize. I just want to tell my mom that I'm sorry for making the bad choice that I made, and I'll always regret it.